Okay, this was uh, meant to be both an unboxing and a testing, but um, I uh, left my camera on slow motion mode and everything I'd recorded had no sound and was, yeah, ridiculously slow motion and useless. So, you have to pretend I've just unboxed it. If it really, if it really matters to you, here, yeah, unboxed. Right, anyway, so. Because I've already done all this, I've pre-drilled the hole. Um, our footage is in slow motion as well, but I'll chuck it in anyway because I uh, don't really need sound for that, dear. Yeah, this is the 6-inch large AliExpress monocore um, solvent trap or fuel filter, depending on the advert. Um, <laughs> They even send in this little bit of uh, blue tube into, I don't know, maybe try and fool customs. <laughs> anyway, so, initial thoughts. From the outside, it's pretty, uh, yeah, she, she's pretty good machining. Um, it looks, it looks as good as any other. Um, all the threads on the on the end seem decent. Uh, I can't see any defects as far as the uh, the threads go. So let's open up and uh, have a look inside. So that's the the inside. Just a simple. Baffle design, and it's all been machined out, and the uh, machine sh machining quality is pretty good. From what I can see, there's no nasty edges, no sharp edges. It's all yeah, it's all nice, very nicely machined actually. Um, and the threads on the end, obviously this has been screwed in and out a few times, so sort the paint has worn off, but. Uh, Threads are good. This uh, the outer sleeve is is bloody substantial actually. It's quite uh, quite thick material. Um, so like, yeah, it's just a shade over two millimeters. So yeah, it's nice and thick, good quality. Um, when it comes out of the packet, it's um, the end cap isn't drilled. Um, so it has a little indentation in there which you can use to centre the drill on and uh, drill it through. I've drilled it through with a 7mm hole um, because I've got a Virac silencer. Um, on my BSA, um, I figured I'll sort of go with the the same hole size to give it a fair comparison. Um, it also comes with this collar type um, screw, so when you so you can you can run it with. That configuration straight out of the box. Um, so it's, uh, as you can see. But uh, as you will find out using it in this configuration, you may as well not have a silencer on it because it makes bugger all difference to the sound. But um, yeah, so we'll, I'll just get my uh, Virac silencer now so you can have a direct comparison on the size and dimensions. <coughs> the gun I'm going to be testing on is a uh, BSA uh, Scorpion T10. Um, pretty much standard apart from it's got a, a lane gauge on it and a... Um, uh, what the hell is that thing called now? A blast tamer. Um, which I will 
show you in another video because I've got a lane regulator coming for it now um, and I'm going to do a video on the lane regulator, the blast tamer and the gauge um, with before and after chronograph shots so we can see what kind of shot string consistency we get um, yeah anyway so this is the Viadarc silencer a bit, uh, bit battered but uh, it does the job beautifully it's very very quiet um, and this is the AliExpress special so you can see the size it's a lot thicker but uh, not as long I believe this is a 28 mm, 30 mil and the inside of this is 30 35 millimeters so yeah it's got uh, it's got a bit more thickness but not as much length no <laughs> that's what she said anyway right so what I will do is I have a decibel meter on my phone um, which I will use I'll fire a couple of shots out um, we'll see what the decibel reading is on uh, with no silencer then we'll do it with the AliExpress in this configuration and then with the drilled out end cap and then with the, uh, the Virac silencer so you get a sort of get an idea of uh, how well this performs anyway okay so we'll just uh, reset this and take the first shot this is without any silencer so as you can see without any silencer it's a hundred point seven so now We'll do it with silence in this configuration. <laughs> Actually louder. <laughs> Under 1.6. Obviously this is not exact. Um, it's just a rough guide as to the differences. So anyway. So now I'll change out the silencer end for the drilled end. Oh god. Okay, and now for the AliExpress with the drilled end. That's 97.3. So it's a fair distance, you know, a fair amount. Um, so they do work to a fashion, um, but you know, you'll see now, um, I'm going to compare it to the, to the Virac silencer, and you'll see the difference. These have been shot without a pellet in mind, so this is just pure air. Um, obviously, the, the, the readings will be different to the silencer uh, uh, using a pellet. Sorry. Okay, uh, this is the Vi Virac silencer. As you can see, it's quite a difference. Ninety-three point five. You can barely hear this thing when it's uh, got the Virac silence on it. So what I'll do next is uh, I have a 
lump of plasticine which I use for just uh, testing um, pellets to see if expansion on hollow points also if there's any skirt um, definition of you know if it's clipping silences or anything else it's just a plain of a plasticine just just so I got some a medium to fire it into to test so I'll put a shot through with the Virac silencer and I'll have the decibel meter here um, so you can see the difference um, and then I'll run it through the AliExpress special and we'll see you know, see what the difference is with it loaded okay this is the loaded test with the, uh, the Virac silencer Yeah, 97.4 and uh, we can see here this straight hole As you can see, there's uh, no deformation on the skirt, all the, um, the rifling marks on the head and the, on the skirt are uh, as they should be. So, yeah, evidence that there's uh, no clipping, no issues within the silencer. So, next one now is I'll take this off and we'll. Uh, Fire one out through the uh, the AliExpress, and we'll see if a I drilled the hole straight, and b everything inside is as straight and true as it should be. It's um, this is 22 caliber, and the hole is seven millimeters, so it shouldn't uh, clip. Okay, this is the AliExpress with a with a, a loaded gun. Hundred point two. Hmm. Obviously not uh, as quiet, but it's deceiving because even though it says a hundred decibels, it doesn't sound that much louder. And we are inside a room, so it probably is reverberating a bit. So you know, take the readings as you as you wish. You know, the, they're an indication that it is doing something, but it's not an exact uh, reading. So anyway, let's have a look here. Get the uh, plasticine off the end. Okay. As you can see, there's no deformation on the back. Obviously the head's going to be slightly deformed from hitting the plasticine, but the skirt and the head showing good rifle marks. All the way across. Which means it's not clipping the uh, silencer. There's the uh, The Virac one, that's the AliExpress, and yeah, both do a good. You know, there's no deformation, there's no clipping on it, which is good. Which means the silence that is, you know, is straight through, um, and it doesn't have any issues with uh, bad machining or bits and pieces sticking out. So yeah, it's. Uh, 
I mean, it, it cost, I think it was uh, 15 quid delivered. I uh, had to wait a uh, couple of weeks for it, but I mean, given the price, it's, yeah, you can't fault it for the price to be honest, you know, I'm, I wouldn't want to um, uh, I wouldn't want to use it on anything firearms mine, because I wouldn't be too sure how resilient this is to actual firearms fire, but for a PCP or a, a CO2 gun I, yeah, I can't see if you don't want to spend out 70, 80 odd pounds on a a Virac, then yeah, this is probably a nice cheap and cheerful silencer which will get the job done. I mean, they, they come in a uh, six inch narrow, six inch wide uh, fat, which is this one, and then they come up to 10 inch and 12 inch, I believe. I was tempted to get the 10 or the 12 inch, but then I thought it would just look ridiculous off the end of my rifle and would probably upset the balance on it, so I would, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just try this one because, I mean, 6 to 8 inch cylinder, uh, silencer is what most people seem to use on air guns. Um, so, yeah, so what do I, would I buy one again? Probably. Um, I am... I do have an idea floated in my head for this because of the the internals on these is the um, the hair rollers with the uh, the wadding on the outside, which does seem to be making a huge huge difference from uh, monocore type uh, baffles. Um, and an idea I've got floating in my head is. I'm wondering if I can fit a very thin um, the metal hair roller cage up the centre and then baffle the outsides with wadden and turn this into a monolithic slash regular uh, dampened silencer. I wonder what sort of difference that will make. But yeah, maybe in the future I'll, I'll have a go at doing that. To see if this can be modified to make it even quieter. But for now, this is just a sort of basic comparison between a, you know, a, a, a shop bought one of the the better ones you can get versus the cheapest you can get. And yeah, my opinion is, for the money, you can't go wrong. Yeah. How it'll. Uh, last over time, I honestly can't say, but yeah, impressed, genuinely impressed. I'll uh, do one more shot with an open barrel, no silencer, into the clay and we'll uh, see what the decibels are with that, is it? Yeah, that made my ears ring. That is very loud. 103.3. So yeah, it definitely does make a difference. Um. Okay, so this is the pellet fired out of the, the gun without any silencer. You can see the uh, it's good. It's pretty much bang on. And this is with the AliExpress silencer or um, fuel filter slash um, whatever trap they call it. As you can see, no, no clipping, no defamation, and then, yeah, the Virac silencer, again, 
no clipping, no deformation. And uh, if we unscrew the end of this okay. drill to the 7mm drill bit, you go through it. Yeah, no clipping, no marks. So the, the, the little indentation they put in the back of this, when you get it, this isn't drilled through, obviously. Um, you have a little indentation here for you to rest your drill on and get it drilled central is quite central, so yeah. I started off with the uh, 1.5mm drill and then um, went up to the 7mm drill just to make damn sure it wasn't going to jump off the um, off the little indentation first. So yeah, worth buying? Yeah, absolutely. If you're on the cheap end of the budget, don't mind to wait for a couple of weeks. Um, obviously don't expect the same reduction in sound as you know the higher end Virax or the, uh, the, the, the other good brands that are out there um, because it's a different design. Uh, these work very very well but for how much you pay for it, yeah, it does the job. Um, it's quiet enough in my opinion, to use in the field or even out your garden, you know, if your neighbours are not too fussy. But um, yeah, I am actually impressed. It's, you know, the finish is good. Considering the uh, cheap, how cheap the product is, you'd think, you know, maybe cut corners and bits of the threads chunked and you know the machining wouldn't be very good but this is as good machining as I've seen on on anything really um, it's, it's, it's nice I don't know what they whether they, this is some kind of paint or it's I don't know I believe it's paint so the longevity of the uh, the coating is to be questioned but um, it is what it is So, yeah, I shall take it out in the field next time I go shooting um, and give it a test out in the real world and see if there is a notable difference. Um, but next I've got to put a lane regulator in my BSA um, and then have some chronograph fun while I'm tuning it. I'll be running a uh, H&N uh, slugs, uh, the 0.217s. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll do some before and after string shots. See how consistent I can get it. See what the power is like. And uh, then we'll run these again and see what they like in the real world. Anyway, thanks for watching.